Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from Beaver Mead Park and I'm now making some pasta salad. So this is how I do it when I have to be on the fly. All right, this is how I, tr when we travel, if we're camping for a week, I'm probably made too much, but this is pre-cooked pasta, Hellman's, onion, salt, pepper, relish, and salmon. Now you can use tuna, um, but you know, I find that relish, I'm not going to use the whole can of salmon. I'll give the other half to Gracie because, well, we're not going to need that much, right? Papa's got the grill going. So I'm just going to put this in this and squeeze out the juice in this bowl. And put half of this can of salmon right in there. We'll give this to Gracie. Gracie loves salmon. And it's really good for her. Now I'm sorry for the light lighting folks because the light above my sink here is broken. And I'm just going to take, see, I, my thing is to make a big one, but the truth is we don't need a big one, right? So, oops, I'm getting it all over the place. Gracie can have that too. Now this is just supper for Howie and I, so that's pr actually a pretty big salad size. Now, let's get out the chopper. Yeah, that should go on the upper shelf, Papa. I love this. You're going to travel or camp or anything like that, folks? You get one of these Vidalia Chop Wizards. You can get the uh, Star Frit knockoff. The rest of this onion is going to go in tomorrow's potatoes for breakfast. Now, I got to tell you, when we brought the dishes in and stuff from the coach, my Chop Wizard fell and the carafe broke again. So I've had it with the Chop Wizard. I'm gonna order a new design from Amazon and see how that goes. You know, small kitchens are not great for big meals, but they are really good for small ones. In there. Oh yeah, I should have made this in a bigger bowl. You know what? This is the only big bowl I have, so it has a tendency to get used for mixing. We're just going to break up the salmon, mix all that in there. Why do we add relish? Because rel uh, tartar sauce for fish is just mayonnaise and relish. So. If I put this in the fridge to chill, will you come and get it? Of course. Okay. Now, pepper. And if we had a sprig of parsley, we could set that on top. Look at that. Beauties. Beauties. There's a bowl for Gracie, dear. You take it out and dump it in her bowl. No, the last I dropped on the floor. Do you want me to season these steaks? Yeah. Got salt and pepper, but. You want, uh, <laughs> you oh. want this food? You want this you want food? Cob corn? <laughs> Don't peel everything off. Just peel off the loose parts. Like these little things that are going to burn. Put anything you tear off in the fire pit, right? So, I guess I'm doing steak seasoning now. Just gonna be salt and pepper on the steaks, guys. I didn't uh, make a spice list or anything. Why salt? 
because meat loves salt and salt loves meat. And we put a lot in the middle layer because that's kind of does for both. And we're just going to slap this other one on top. And steaks. Do you want the steaks? No, not now, eh? No. Okay. Do we, we don't even have any barbecue sauce. And yet I bought some. I know I did. You did buy one. It's in the top pantry. Oh, okay. Awesome. All right, there's the barbecue sauce. Papa is ready to go. Okay, folks. See that corn? Yeah, see what I mean? Maybe we should have wrapped them in tin foil. That corn, could you hold one up there? Sort of. That corn has been in our freezer since 2019, or is it 18? But that corn, eh, dear? We had some uh, last week or something. We were going to throw it out, and it turns out it's really still good. After three years in the freezer, this is third summer in the freezer. Go figure. I guess I should have thought of that. I'm sorry, dear. Well, that's true. This is actually going to be our kind of, just our private dinner. We've been going out. We've had a hamburger. Last night we had fries and ice cream. But today, it's, today is steak day. Because we don't know if we're going home tomorrow or Saturday. We haven't decided How's yet. How's it coming, baby? Well, the pasta salad's in the fridge. And you got the corn. Huh? Okay. Looking good there, Daddy. It's getting under the picnic table. That's a problem for me. Ooh, really? Okay. All right, Father. Um, corn. And here's a nice pasta salad I made. I'm just gonna lay my corn right on the oil here. And do that. <laughs> yeah, not not like not killing hot, but now look folks, that corn has been in our freezer. This is its third summer in our freezer. Good supper, Daddy. Second. Oh, we didn't put any barbecue sauce on. Guess we didn't need it. Didn't need it. We're camping. And Gracie gets to have steak, too. The good yums. Mm. Did you even taste that? This is Mrs. Wolfie from Life with the Wolfie. And that is a darn fine looking feast. Take care, God bless.